3 by 8 is equal to 1 agency. After I will answer in this one, I will 3 by 8 is equal to 180 degrees minus 64 degrees to the right. That is the given value. I will 3 by 8 is equal to 116 degrees to the value of angle T by Z. T by Z. In this P by Z angle Z by Q under two I B R of the sum of the angle. That is I will write that is angle P by Z is equal to angle P by Z is equal to R also will write that the given values angle that the first value will be yeah, angle Z by Q, angle Z by Q, angle Z by Q is equal to angle Q by B. Okay, angle Z by Q and angle Q by B are of the angles of angle Z by B, of the angles of angle Z by B are P by Z is right. What about the value of angle Q by Z is right? Angle P by Z is 16 degrees, that is 2 1, 2 5, and 2 8 16, that is the value given on the 58 degrees will take. 58 degrees will take. After we will answer, finally we will find the angle X by Q. I will find, I will find angle X by Q is equal to 1 to right. Angle x y q that must be written as angle x y z plus angle z y q will write. That is, I will write angle x y z plus angle z y q will write. Whatever the value of angle x y z, that is the given value is 64 degrees plus z by q is, whatever the value of z by q. Z by Q is nothing but 58 degrees. That is, 6, 8 plus 4 is 12. That is, I will take 12. After the 5, 6 plus 6 is 12. That is, the total value is 1 degree. This is the angle X by Q. That is, angle X by Q is equal to 120 degrees. 120 degrees X by Q. This is the X by Q. Is equal to 122 degrees. Xyq is equal to 100 degrees. After we will find, we know the value of QIB. By the problem, what we will find? We know angle QIB is equal to 58 degrees. By the problem, this is first one we will find. This is first one. After we will find the second one is. The second one is. Reflex of reflex of angle Q Y P angle Q Y P is equal to three sixty degrees minus fifty eight degrees to right three sixty degrees minus fifty two is nothing but three one two degrees this is the reflex of angle Q Y P this is the reflex of angle Q Y P
after now I will explain the most important points. The most important points we discuss. I will try to first one again. We will not then raise two points. Not one. After we write, not two. First we write then not one that is. If A. If A. Plant motion, plant motion, plant motion, intersect two parallel lines, two parallel lines, then each pair of each pair of alternate each pair of alternate interior angles interior angles interior angles are equal so this is one concept as well as in a similar way In the similar way, the related to the related to interior angles, the related to interior angles, angles on the same side of same side of the transversal after we write that not to okay i have to discuss uh, each and every one then also we will write if a transversal if a transversal intersect Intersect two parallel lines. Intersect two parallel lines. Then, then each pair of then each pair of interior angles. Each pair of interior angles on the on the same side, on the same side of, on the same side of the transversal, transversal or or supplementary or supplementary. First we will try a figure. First we will explain this one. If a transversal intersects at two parallel lines, first we will draw two parallel lines. This is the given parallel line that is A, this is B. This is given by parallel to CD, this is E, and this is D. These are two lines, A, B, and C, D are Parallel lines. Okay, two parallel lines intersect at another line. Given one is known as transversal. You observe. Given two parallel lines intersect at another line. The other line is known as a transversal. After okay, given one can intersect another line. Given one can intersect another line. This is the another line. The name of given one is this is P, this is S, 
After reading their intersecting points, is known as this is Q. This is the this is a regular term. If we have transverse, this is the given transverse. Why because of why because of two parallel lines, two parallel lines intersect at another line. Intersect at another line. Given one is uh, transverse A B. And the CD are two parallel lines. These two parallel lines intersect at uh, the line that is PS. Okay, in this PS intersect at the points two and a half. By the problem, if a transversal intersect two parallel lines, then each pair of alternate interior angles are equal to the other. Each pair of alternate Interior angles are equal. Interior angles are equal. That is, I will write angle AQR. Angle AQR is equal to the other. Angle, this is angle AQR. Okay, here. Yes. Each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. This is also interior angle. After will take, after will take, this is also interior angle. After will take, this is also interior angle. You will observe. What I am asking? Each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. Alternate, this is one. This is also interior angle, but not alternate. But not alternate means here given one is the alternate. That is the point. That is, what about the alternate interior angles? The first one is angle. AQR is equal to angle AQR is equal to you will write this one angle AQR is equal to again we will take angle QRD angle QRD here what about the interior angles in here if the given interior angle is angle Q if the given interior angle is that is angle Q and angle R are interior angles. Angle Q and angle R are interior angles. Again, we will take one more. That is one more interior angles. That is the will take. What will take? That is angle B. Angle B R C. You know, sir. Angle B Q R. You know, sir. Angle B. Q R is equal to angle Q R C. This is also this is also an interior angle. This is also an interior angle. So we take the angle of the other. Does not take this one. This is exterior. We will take interior. This is nothing but interior. Again, we will write angle B Q R. Angle. B Q R is equal to angle B Q R is equal to angle angle Q R C. Here also I will take two lines. That is I will write angle Q R C angle Q R C. Look sir. Once again I will explain this one. Okay. In this uh, each pair of alternate interior angles are equal means. Angle AQR is equal to angle QRD. Angle QRD, this is one thing. This is first case will appear. After will take angle BQR is equal to angle QRC. Here the alternate interior angles are this is one way and this is one way. This is one way. This is the Given theorem will express. After that, I'm going to give you if a transversal intersect uh, two parallel lines, again we draw the same figure. This is the given line, J and J. Their parallel line will be this is the given parallel line, J and J. This is B. This is B. Okay, this is given transversal. We will have two parallel lines intersect at a line. This is B. This is B. Two 
radial x at the point is known as the radius q with the r is right this is r is right this is the given transverse but yeah each pair of interior angle from the interior angle from the pair pair of transverse are supplementary observe in this one each pair of each pair of interior angles on the same side of transverse yeah same side of transverse of supplementary means that is right angle a q r plus 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 angle q r c angle a q r plus angle q r c both are interior angles both are interior angles that is i will write the perpendicular angle a q r plus angle q r c is equal to supplementary mean will take 180 degrees after will take one more thing in this one this is one way this is one way after the other interior angles also will take that is the other interior angles are angle angle b q r plus angle b q r plus again will be angle q r c is equal to one angle this is also both interior angles this is also both the interior angles We will write this one. This is another way to write. This is another way to write. Find the find the measure of each angle. Find the measure of each angle indicated <coughs> indicated in each figure <coughs> in each figure where where. 
After now, I will explain the problems. That is, I will take the first one. Here we will observe. Here, X is also an external angle. Here, 100 degrees also external angle. That is, I will write the Alternate, the alternate exterior angles, alternate exterior angles are same. The alternate exterior angles are same means that is I will write x degrees is equal to 100 degrees. X degrees is equal to 100 degrees. After now I will discuss the second one is okay. The alternate, this is also interior angle, this is also interior angle, that is the point. The alternate, the alternate, interior angles, the alternate, interior angles are same. The alternate, interior angles are same, that is the point. Y degrees is equal to 84 degrees to right. This is equal to 84 degrees to right. Okay. And the third one is the sum of the sum of both interior angles are 180 degrees. The sum of both the co-interior angles that is the sum of co-interior angles. The sum of Co-interior angles. The sum of co-interior angles are supplementary. Supplementary. You love that? The sum of co-interior angles are supplementary means what I write? Z plus 
100 degrees is equal to 180 degrees in right. After that, this is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees to right. That is the value of this is equal to 80 degrees to right. 80 degrees to right. Look that. Finally, now I am going to go to one beta. Beta. The corresponding angles are the corresponding angles are the corresponding angles are equal. Already we discussed angle one equal to angle five, angle two equal to angle six, angle three equal to angle seven, angle four equal to angle eight. Finally, we write S is equal to fifty-three degrees. Is equal to 53 degrees. We know one thing in this uh, transaction. Okay, in this given transaction, the alternate exterior angles are equal. Once again, I will draw. I will draw a transversal figure. This is L. This is M. After we take, this is the given transversal L. Okay, we will observe the angles will take. 1, 2, 3, and 4, again we'll say 5, 6, and 7, 8. First, we have to find the first one. Alternate. Alternate. Exterior angles are. Exterior angles are equal. Exterior angles means outside of the given figure. Here, this is 1, 2, 7, and 8 are exterior angles. Alternate exterior angles are equal to means that is angle right. Angle 1 is equal to angle 7. Again, we say angle 2 is equal to angle 8 is right. Angle 2 is equal to angle 8. After we discuss the second one is alternate. Alternate. Interior angles are same. Alternate. Interior angles are equal. What about their interior angles? They are 3, 4, 5, and 6 are interior angles. Their alternate interior angles means that is angle right. Angle 3 is equal to angle 5, and angle 4 is equal to angle 6. After one more, we will write the extra condition that is, okay, that is the sum of the sum of Four interior angles, four interior angles are 180 degrees. Four interior angles means I will write angle four plus angle five is equal to 180 degrees. After I will write another one is angle three plus angle six is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, Rana, we have to write in this one. Remaining I will explain in this class.